right. So I'm installing the FreeBSD 13 current uh, from USB stick and it will have a dedicated SSD. CPU is AMD Ryzen 3950. Uh, GPU is Navi architecture, um, Air RX uh, 5700 uh, XT, and RAM is 128 gigabytes of Kingston 3.6 GHz, if I'm correct. Okay, so I'm going to install, yes, uh, what's going to be host name? FreeBSD. Home. Uh, we need uh, all kind of packages: base debug, kernel debug, lib32 debug, lib32 ports and source. That's all I need. Set up network. Use IPv4 only. DHCP. Uh, so automatically find the IP address from the router. This, since this is desktop, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a, a wireless connection. Uh, we don't need IPv6 for now. What uh, DNS service you can use by default? Uh, primary one is always Cloudflare, and secondary is the Google one. Uh, mirror, where we're gonna fetch our software, FTP, freebsd.org. Uh, we'll gu use guided route on CFS. Uh, partition scheme is gonna be GPT BS UEFI compatible, swap will be zero. Uh, mirror swap no, encrypt swap no, uh, force for key sectors are yes, stripe, full type disk, stripe zero disk. Okay, now we're gonna select the disk and we'll use just the uh, Samsung uh, SSD 860 EVO 550 gigabyte. That's all. I'll be dedicated one. Run. So now System will be done. In couple, will be installed in a couple of minutes. Uh, I should mention that I have a two displays set up here, so this should this should be a working, fully working dual display desktop. All right, create password. I'll use some dummy password for now. Uh, is your machine CMOS clock set to use you? Yes, yes, where you're located, let's say Europe, and one exotic country called Serbia with really high temperatures in uh, summer. Set time, everything is right. Uh, SSH, what kind of services we need? I would like to synchronize system and network time on power D, adjust CPU frequency dynamically if supported. Yes, this is usually for the laptops, but here as well. Let's see, we're gonna get. Uh, true system security hardening options? No. No. Would you like to add users to the installed system now? Yes. I'll add myself. I'll need user. Mark Desic. UID, leave it empty. Login group and Desic. Another group. I'll just use wheel so I can do sudo. Plus default, shell sh, install bash, bash rules soon, home directory slash home slash and tacit, home directory permissions, now everything default, use password based authentication, yes, use empty, no, use random, no, enter your password, also use something dummy, lock out the account after creation, no, is permission correct, yes, do you want to add another user, no. Uh, that's all basically I don't want to touch anything else I'll exit and reboot my computer uh, it says the installation is all finished before exiting the installer would you like to open a shell uh, in the new system make any final manual modifications no reboot yes so after reboot we should be into a new fresh free BSD so it took us like a couple of minutes only to do a whole process I guess this depends from uh, your configuration and the network connection and everything, but this is pretty typical nowadays.
let's log in as root so now what we need to do is following we need to pkg install uh, drm devil uh, kmod yes So now what we're doing, we're installing this MD Pro MD GPU uh, drivers. Uh, so I can use them in console. So I don't have just a simple VESA. I want real driver. And it says, make sure that your user is in group video all right pv group mod uh, video and fantastic nice and now we need to go B th rc all right so now we need to add So it says for G and the GPU and Radeon KMS, there have been reports of issues when using UFE driver. You may need to disable the console by adding HVC scones, disable one to put loader conf. Yes, we'll definitely need, we'll do that. KLD list and we need and the GPU. And the GPU, that's all. And then we also need to do boot loader dot conf. So we'll do what they said HV syscons disable equals one. So let's now try to do reboot. You will see a uh, basically mod being set to uh, native resolution. Right now the font and size and everything is uh, standard one, generic. But it will be really, it should work. If this works, next step will be to set up XORG server and XFC, XF, XFCE for as a window environment. So this will just stay like it is until the driver is loaded. When it's loaded, it should continue. It'll just, you know, right now, you see? And it's on the both screens, actually. The same thing, that means that we are, the MD GPU driver is working on FreeBSD 13 current. Uh, the resolution is the main one. I don't know. Well, 1920 by 1080. Let's install xorg and xfc4 x do this. Also vim. This is just observation. I think the installation process on uh, Linux, Arch Linux and Alpine, it's much faster than here. I don't think the problem here is with file system. I actually think it's with tools. And this might, can be probably improved. But I'm pretty sure there are reasons why it's slow. All right, so now we need to install the manager, uh, login manager. I'll use GDN, that's GNOME desktop manager. And it requires a couple of things. First one is it requires the proc uh, file system. Uh, another thing that we need, we need the uh, dbus and hal. Yes. Oh. 
three plus a half are they already installed but we need to enable them so we need the bus enable yes and this is what I'm missing from you know what I'm missing from Arch Linux and that's present uh, in some form in Alpine it's exactly this this simplicity of uh, enabling services you know and how Hardware abstraction layer. Enable, enable, yes. And now we need GPM. Uh, also, I'll install one more software from GNOME that system monitor. The one from the X, XFCE is not that advanced. This, this one is more appealing to me. This is just a preference. This also go here and say GPM enable equals yes. I need a service. Guys, this is it. Let's restart. Let's reboot the computer. And now when we Boot, we should be able to see a uh, GDM. I also select uh, the user, my default user, and uh, my desktop environment. XS XFCE. I have so much trouble pronouncing that name. So I should be able to have four operating systems um, Arch Linux, uh, actually, more Arch Linux, Alpine Linux, uh, FreeBSD, NetBSD, and a Windows, of course. Sometimes I really need Windows, especially for games. And now, before I make a mistake, XFCE login. It's pretty lightweight and quick uh, environment and really, really nice. When I use it, I feel it at home. Let's do a few things. You know, we can, we can move this back and forth, create. Uh, we can snap. It's okay. Uh, so we can install uh, OBS Studio. That's what I use. So the command is not installed. Not in Sudo's file. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's in different place here. So I'll say whoever is in group field shouldn't should be able to do this. Let's try now. And it works really nice. I need to set up the web camera. For that we need a service called webcam D. It's already installed. Then we need a sudo in etc rc.conf and here I need so I said web can be enabled plus yes and one more thing we need so boot load .conf. Use 
values log echo yes not that's it so now when I restart the machine I don't have permission for power this is interesting I should be able to use OBS with my webcam and continue from there uh, from now on that's it for this time and uh, see you in my next video from OBS and from desktop.